Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a good day. I have another quick tip and this is again from Alessandro Boncio and this is all about dynamics. All right, so I have a very, very simple dynamics simulation here and I'm gonna show you how to time remap this but also to play the simulation backwards if we wanted to. All right, so if you weren't aware, if you hit Control D, you'll bring up your project settings. There is a tab for dynamics under here and under this, you can click on cache and this is where you can cache all the dynamics in your entire scene if we hit bake. So right now we've baked our simulation. You can see that it's playing smoothly and we can scrub through it. And now we're going to use this section underneath here and we have to make sure we click use and we check that on. And that is going to basically freeze the animation but now it's made it so that we can add keyframes to it. So we have playback time and if you'll notice, we have 250 frames here. So if we uh, make a keyframe at zero, then go to the end and have 250 frames, make another keyframe. If we play through here, now we have our simulation that is perfect from one to uh, 250 frames. The cool thing about this is if we go to right click, animation and show track, we now have our keyframes here. So we can do a lot of things now. We can reverse these two keyframes and then we're going to be running this simulation backwards, which is very cool. And there's a couple other really nice things about doing a simulation and using the keyframes this way. One of them is that, let's say we take our animation, we go to a thousand frames here, and let's zoom out on our timeline here. If we took this keyframe and we stretched out this animation over a thousand frames, since we only baked 250 frames, you would kind of expect this to be pretty jittery and there wouldn't be in between keyframes. But actually, um, Cinema 4D is interpolating all these keyframes in between them. So if we hit play, you can see that it's very, very smooth. So even though it's slowed it down and stretched it out over a thousand keyframes, it is really, really smooth because it's generating those in between keyframes. So that's really nice. Another thing that we can do is add some more keyframes in here. So let's say that we want this to start out a little bit faster, but then slow down right here. We can just make a keyframe, just go to Control D, make a keyframe here, and then stretch out that last one. And now we're able to kind of modify the, uh, the timing of this entire animation really, really quickly. So it's a great way to do uh, time remapping, and it's a great way to reverse your uh, baked animations. All you have to do is hit Control D and go under the Dynamics tab and play around with these settings here. I hope you all found that useful. Thanks for checking out the Pixel Lab. We'll talk to you next time. Ciao.